Every time she do tells Natsumi that you know you're attractive in her little child form, I'm thinking to myself, you don't you don't mean that, right? You you don't mean that, right? I'm like, this sounds so fucking weird, man. Oh, the last episode was just a fucking lollicon service daycare episode. It was cute though for what it was. Now, Natsumi is like insecurity. It's not necessarily just sex appeal, but she just doesn't like the way she looks. So she doesn't feel pretty. After the makeover, I think she looks fucking the same. But now she's like, oh my god, it looks good. I don't know. There's some stuff going on with the DEM. You know, uh, Ellen is recruiting Origami for some goal. I'm not sure what it's about. I'm sure this is going to be handled in the Origami arc later on. Now, there's a satellite that's going to be falling on our city. I think this might be the last episode of this arc, and then we move on. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh, she turned to Kotori. What do you think about, you know, uh... Yeah, they're gonna try to see if they're gonna talk shit about Natsumi, but no. Oh, they wouldn't say mean things. Kotori, how could you? <laughs> I know it's not her, but... <laughs> Come on, that's out of pocket! What are you doing? Yeah. Hmm. Kaguya wearing dark colors once more. It's flipped again. Am I just crazy, guys? I swear Kakuya is wearing dark colors to distinguish herself from Yuzuru, but last episode, it was actually flipped. I mean, she is a huge pain, but no, I... Yeah, you're crazy. How dare you talk shit about Natsumi! Yeah, Kotori, you meanie! <laughs> Yo, Kotori's reputation is going down. Hmm? He will show his true colors, and that's why he's fully accepting. See? Aww. How could you possibly think that they're against you if you hear this? Come on! He's crying! <laughs> no, 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 it's a great idea! <laughs> What's it gonna take to really get her to like, I don't know, make her think that we accept her? How? What? 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 A satellite fucking dropping and then what? I don't know. Ellen? No, that's Ellen, dude! What the fuck? How do you- This is so crazy! Could you imagine her just shooting up your house? Bro, this is fucking menacing! Hmm? Yeah? It'd be a shame if this house was fucking destroyed. You wouldn't. Oh, come on! But this is so bad that they know where we fucking live, right? Mm. I don't think Shida would ever sell out. He wouldn't. A bomb is dropping. Natsumi's disappeared. Ellen's doing this shit. Westcott probably knows what's going on, right? There's no way Westcott just like lets this happen on the city that he's currently at. Nah. Ellen! Can we just stop? Can we pick up the phone? Oh, sure. What? Hi. Saved by the bell, maybe. She has to leave. Yeah? She'll probably just walk away again. <laughs> this happens quite a lot, actually. Yeah, bro. Ellen knows where we live. I'd be terrified if she knew where we live, bro. Like, I wouldn't feel safe or secure at my home anymore. No, I don't think he'll go to a shelter until he finds Natsumi. And by him sacrificing himself to save Natsumi, I think that's what's going to... <laughs> Look at her flesh. I think that's what's going to make Natsumi believe in Shido, right? He has to really show her that he's the real deal. Whoa, what is this PowerPoint animation? <laughs> yeah, they're saving the budget right now, aren't they? <laughs> they better be allocating the animation budget somewhere else. Alright, do you think you hey? Activate Mistletine. Of course it's Mistletine again. Do we ever use any other weapons? Oh, what? It's got a barrier. The fuck? It's got a territory. Oh. Kyo is taking over, but where's Kotori going? Huh? What? Okay, Kotori's going in? Transformation scene? Oh, she's just gonna straight up attack it in her in her spirit form? Also, I thought the power is where within Shido. But no, she it's not the first time, because like in season one when she appeared. 
Kamala was still sealed in Shido, but she just kind of overrode it and just turned into, you know, a spirit form. So Kotori is unique in the sense that she can just take away the power whenever she wants. This is new? Wait, I haven't seen Gungnir though. It's always just been Megido, but even bigger beam. Imagine if this isn't enough. After all that cool transformations, come on. Okay. Gungnir is stronger than Mistletine. Unless... No, it's gone. Oh, okay. That's it? That's way too simple, isn't it? Oh, damn. I took a lot of energy from her. What is this shit? Because there's more than one satellite dropping, right? Wasn't there like eight or something? <laughs> yeah. No, there, didn't he, they say there's like eight satellites that's going to disappear? Too much power. No, she's going berserk. Hey, she got that crazy smile. <laughs> you know, at this rate, she might just fight... You know, start shooting down the city before the satellites get here. Wait, I just realized. Could it not be just turn these satellites into like goofy ass different candy and shit? Nah, he'll still self-sacrifice himself for Natsumi. Even though Natsumi is perfectly safe in a different realm because of her powers. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. What the fuck? That was kind of rude from Miku. Oh, you know, you know what Kota needs to do right now? Undo her fucking powers, give Kamao back to Shido so that Shido can survive the fucking impact from the satellite if it drops down. Oh. I is it really all we need though? To shoot the beams at the fucking satellites? It's not enough. Because it does a lot of damage to him, right? If he keeps using the angel's powers. Ooh. Everybody transform! Yeah, because you don't have Kamail right now because Kotori took it. Come on, guys. Transform time. Oh, oh, they skipped the transformation scene. Wait, Yoshino usually has a big hood. I think they changed the design. Now it's only got these ears. No, Westcott doesn't care. He's testing? He knows that the spirits will overcome this? Her. Origami? What did they do to Origami? Oh shit, did she get a new suit? Oh my god. She looks pretty sick. The new outfit looks sick, but Origami, are you really just gonna leave us again? Yeah, see? Yoshino usually has a hood on, but they changed her design this season. I'm still waiting for the moment where Yuzuru and Kaguya actually fuse together into Yamai. Is that ever gonna happen? Huh? Wait, did they just get bought? Guys, the city is about to fucking blow up. What are you guys doing? Oh, uh, what is, what is the logic? You, you guys know you're gonna get wiped out if the bomb falls down. All right, whatever. These dumbass bander snatches, dude. You know what? I like this Yoshino style. You know, the big hood kind of covers her cute face, but this one, you know, she's got the cute ears now. Natsumi just turned it into a fucking, I don't know, toy. What are you doing? Someone did come to save the day. Are you just waiting for it to get resolved? Come help us. Natsumi. Natsumi, come on. Not to me, not to me, not to me. She'll make it transform into something funny. Right? Right? That's it. That's the key. lollipop that she dropped and we put in the pocket. Oh, she turned into the lollipop. Oh! There she is. She's coming to help. Before, you know, she was saying someone will save us, someone will show up. This time, that someone is her, right? Just change it into a non-bomb. I know you can do it, right? Now it's no longer a bomb. Easy. <laughs> See? Her power, if you really think about it, this is so OP. Like, her power is just so versatile. Double send off one! Bro, that barrier is insane. Who's causing that? They said a single banner snatch can't do it. What's it getting backed up by? What? She can kaleidoscope copies? Three sandal phones. Oh shit! I 
what happened there? The barrier blew up. Was it because of her powers? I don't know, but Natsumi using Sandalf on there was pretty sick too. Kaleidoscope, huh? Man, you remember in the movie, Toka was dual wielding Sandalf on? We could fucking triple wield now, like Zoro. Have one in the mouth and, you know, two hands. Get your ass back here. You're part of the crew. <laughs> I mean, not really, but... Yes, you should have done that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, this is all your fault, but it's okay. You came to help out at the end. This is true. Objectively true. That was fucked up. That was pretty fucked up. Oh, she just feels so guilty about herself, doesn't she? She's like, how could possibly anyone accept me? I can't even be mad at her, man. Honestly, all her- the fucked up she, shit she did, it was just like innocent fun, right? It wasn't really anything dangerous. We had some fun times. Okay. We, wait, but remember, a kiss has to happen, right? I, are we gonna kiss another lolly? Oh no. Yes, join the group. Really? You mean it? Wait, what about the other banner snatch and shit? Are they just gone? I, we were just fighting a bunch of shit up, right? And then everything blew up. I guess they're just gone. I don't know. Also, I thought Origami was supposed to show up. Westcott said, hey, yo, let's go do a demo trial. Miku has some ulterior motives. I know she does. But Origami? Origami? I want to see Origami's new suit. What's... Ah, she's doing that classic pinch in the sleeve thing. Yes, you're very cute. Sure, we got tons of experience. <laughs> Although it's funny because they put makeup on her, but she doesn't look any different because anime girls, they just always look like full makeup. Oh god, here we go. Here, here. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I don't like it when it's with lollies, but it's part of the job. <laughs> Yo. That's another one. Oh no, she's gonna get naked to cover it up. Post credit scene. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. She got naked. Hey, we, at least we got a hoodie on her. Why is there a post credit scene? Origami. Origami? Another threat is coming. What is this power level? Here comes Origami, right? Another bomb? A satellite? No, it's gotta be Origami, right? No, it's an actual bomb! What the fuck? Where did this come from? Sandalf one again. That was Origami, maybe. It's gotta be her, right? Her new form? Origami? Oh my god, what is the fucking is the crotch there, bro? It's just translucent, just thong panty thing. Hello. What do you got me? Why? Why are you? All right, we got a handler next door. Yo, I don't know who the fuck is designing these suits, these combat suits for the girls on the DEM side, but bravo. You got the MVP, dude. Just scroll back to the origami scene. Her crotch, bro. This is just Victoria's Secret lingerie. How does this have any fucking utility for combat? Don't worry about it, right? Anime logic. It looks great. Origami, I'm sure, got baited because you said that you want the truth about how your parents died. Don't you want revenge against... Probably they didn't say Phantom, but against Kotori. I wonder if she still thinks that Ifrit is the one that did all that. There's some weird mystery going on with the flashback, though. It just can't be that simple. A ray of light just showed up. Maybe it did happen like that. But where did the ray of light show up from, right? We definitely don't know. Like, that's not Kotori's power. Something else is going on. Now, what are we going to do from here on? We got Haniel. Sorry, we got um, Natsumi on our side. Her arc was... A lot of people say that this is like the worst arc, and I can kind of see why you would say that. It was kind of refreshing because it wasn't just like some kind of death battle, except at the end, kind of, but you know, it was like very goofy. Almost like Mario Party, like little casual slice of life fun. I think it was a good way to kind of ramp up. And now the heavy shit is going to happen for the rest of the season. I can't wait. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.